Now, all the success, the victory you will ever gain will always be determined by how well you prepare. Even a successful team, it depends on how much it puts in as an effort in preparation. We are candidates who are looking at scoring at success in a short time to come. But our success will always be determined by how much we have put in in preparing. I want to thank the teachers. Let's clap for our teachers. <laughs> These ladies and gentlemen have played their role. Now they are saying the ball is in your hands. Thank you, dear teachers, for the job well done. Our dear parents, thank you so much for doing what you were supposed to do. And let's clap for our parents. <laughs> and that you are here to witness to the blessing of your sons and daughters. The following are important for the parents. Mwebali kujanga tukeno kusabira abana banu. Na hibi no mubijukile. Mubiwa abana. Give them this. And you have given them success. Already, you have given them school fees. You have supported them up to this point in time. Now, they need this. One. From you parents, the candidates are expecting to give them what we call esteem. To morale boost them in what they are going for. To spur them. What do I mean? This is not the time to do that. This is the time to kind of raise her or him high by praising him. first grade. There is a way you are building a confidence in this child of yours. It's a moment to build confidence. And if others have done it, why not her? Why not him? Number two. Our dear parents, you have come here. I suppose you have all cleared the school dues. Economy. Mm -mm, leave alone the economy. Please, let's make sure we have cleared the dues by the time the papers are to be done. You see, it is very destructive. If you know you are seated in a paper and very soon they are going to call your name, please, can you go back for balance? Even when you are for the paper, you will never settle. The very, wherever you see the basa, even if she's going to the toilet, you may think, ha, kakati azate to go back. And the attention goes. Please clear the dues and give these children the confidence and the certainty that they will do the papers and do them well. Do we have the scholars in this community? Everybody is a, a, a boarder. Lucky eh? you. Lucky you. Mm. To the parents. Remember to get a time with your child alone. And when you have this time, it is a time for you to also lay your hands onto him. Now we take a chemicono. Because you have a special blessing. We have come here to bless these candidates. And what is a blessing? A blessing, ordinarily speaking, is that invisible power that is real, but you can never see. One gains and does what he or she would not have done without it. That's a blessing. A blessing is invisible. You can never see it. 
Tusubula kulaba mukisa. Noga wangu mukisa gugu nwanu gugu nukuta ambra kuyole no. It, invi it is invisible, but it is real. Somebody was telling, but Father, prove it is real. I also set an example and I asked him, is the power real? Electricity. Is electricity real? If it is flowing, the current is flowing in a wire, can you see that it is flowing? Even when it's not flowing, can you see it's not flowing? But you touch the wire when the current is flowing, you will tell me. So is the blessing. It is seemingly looks like nothing is taking place. But the blessing is very effective in you. And as much as I know, I know three types of blessings. We have the one which is natural, we have the one which is God-given, and the one from the parents. That's why I'm very happy to see the parents around. The one that comes from God is the one we have come to give, me and Father Benedict. That blessing that God gives us using his ministers is what we call the divine blessing. That blessing enables us to do many great things in our lives. That's the blessing we have come to give. And our parents, you too, have a blessing onto your children. Your parent is a living God. Not to be worshipped or adored, but to be respected. A parent is a God. Umzade gula boyo, Sylvester Chagulani ya imba na agama nti umzade katona wawano. Indeed he is. He's responsible for you. And even Jesus, when he was asked by his apostles, teach us how to pray. He started by saying, our father. That a father in a house is like a God in heaven. Like a father who provides for almost everything in a family apart from life. So is God. Therefore, a father can ably be equated to God. He's a visible living God. Likewise, our mothers. When you need something, for example, you need money, I don't know, for the seminar, for the uniform, for notes. If I don't, you'll go to your parents and say, Daddy, Mommy, I need this money. And the dad will say, please go pray to God. Now, over the two, God and your father, who brings the money? Hmm? Who brings the money and hands it over to you? God. Have you ever seen God at your door? The woman in the door, Now, it is God who gives what you have asked. But his representative is the one who actually hands over to you. That representative is a God. When you represent somebody, then you are in the shoes of that somebody. Our parents, you are in the shoes of God. And you have come here to exercise your power as parents. There is what we call a parental blessing. It is binding. Muzadewo mama utata ujajia wakusabide bigambe bilonji. Ngabiva kumutima. Bitu ukirida mugwe. She has that power. He, the father, has that power. Our parents, you are here today to use your power. To let your powers over your children so that they are successful. Our dear teachers... We shall forever be grateful for the work you have done for us. Some are leaving their schools and they are going. P7 members, they are going. Next year, there will be senior somewhere. Next year, those in blue will be university students somewhere. But senior force, you have to come back. No good doubt. For you, you have to. 
come back our dear teachers the remaining days this is for you we are grateful you have done your part but you still have this to do one the same i told to the parents to give esteem to your students help them to have build confidence and believe they can two make sure my dear teacher you have covered your syllabus together syllabi three in the remaining days create a teacher student approaching environment that people can approach you don't be too tough they are coming to consult you. No, please. You are still in charge. It is not done until it is done. Number four. Help your candidates to practice more in these last days. Especially the subjects that are a little tough. Help them. It's not too late. Would the teacher in uh, this is October uh, just starting? P sevens we are doing in November. We almost have a full month. Number five. If we can still have new faces of new teachers to come in, we bakula be new wa English. But for you, mula lave we ro wa English. But lave, mubab yo yogera bi ayogera. Hmm. Number six. Give them the chance to work on their own. Number seven, be available for them when they need you. This is the time when they most need you. I know some teachers in Uganda we say try to balance and be available that these students have you when they actually need you. And allow them to come and consult you. Mr. Edmaster, we thank you for running the school plus the principal. Yes, we know it's a post-COVID period. Things are not easy. Finances are not on our side favorable and the economy is as is. But we ask you to give us the conducive everything we need to do our exams. One, the let's spare them, let's leave them, free them from hard labor. But candidates, to basonyo we mini mwe minene, ukuja konga domo yawe, newe basi yawe, sinia siriva jisimule. Hmm. So yes, to work on our And the dear candidates, one more dear principal, during examin during examinations, we also expect to eat well. Temungo biya se mu ande se zinjogera kubo gizi. Yes. The members of staff of the different schools that are here, our candidates during examinations, let them eat well. The food they like. You know when you have eaten the food you like, there was the way you feel good. Ah ah. Sima, this food we eat cassava. No. Full of starch, and somebody begins to doze in the exam. But work a chili, work a fishy. Hey. And by the piece of it, there are only two days. And that could be this sole somero. Piece of it? No. The teacher. The teachers who are here, please look into that. And now to ask the students, our dear candidates. Now I'm to your side. I want to begin with P7 and Senior 6 because for them soon, 
they are going forever. I remind them to love their former schools, where they are now. Very soon they will be former schools. Love your former schools. Go to be an example, a good example for these schools. Number three, leave a legacy in these schools. Okugenda tugenda. P7. Nayegwe bagenda kujukira coaching of the musomerio. What are they going to remember you for? There is that one they know that Eva is number one. And that one will always be remembered for that. There is one you know is the most stubborn. And there is one you know that he or she is always shabby. There is one who is always late. There is one who is always dozing in class. <laughs> they are there. I'm telling you they are there. There is one who will never speak the truth. Typical liar. And there is one who is always the first at the kitchen to be served the food. There is one who will always not, all the time will not be having notes. And there is one who will always have dirty soakings. Now, those individuals are going to be remembered, you know them, they are going to be remembered for that which is in negative. But let you be remembered by the school for positive. Bako chole kamu someru cheva kujukida ko nganebo java gavana that girl he used to sing so well. That boy was the best footballer. Than to say that one was the best food eater. Chivi. It may be too late for you to make your legacy. But the best legacy and memory you can ever leave for the school, for the P7s, is to get four points. Get four points. They will remember you forever. Bafuni rebuna na waba kirize. Bafuni rebuna na waba kirize. Namu ke katuwa ritu mudyo. Your name will be pinned on the school compound for performing. Senior four. How many points must you bring to be remembered? Eight in eight. This is my fourth time or fourth or fifth time to come to bless candidates here. I've always been coming to bless candidates. And Madame Lydian is there, will bear me witness. When I come to bless candidates, my candidates pass. <laughs> they pass, Munange. Yeah, and actually they call me back for Thanksgiving Mass. Father Jangu to Liente. All the time I come back to Kuliante. So I'm very optimistic at coming back to eat that in day for this 2019. Eh? Eh. Yes. Our dear parents, I come back to you once again. I call upon you, dear parents, to pray for your children that they don't only succeed in their papers, but that they are successful throughout their lives. Let's not look at this immediate, short-lived success, but we want that success that lives on in life. And you be part of preparing that long-time success. Prepare your children for the world to come. And by the way, friends, I want to make it very clear. I want to be very true to you. Success in life does not mean you are the best in class. Those who are successful in this world, our dear parents, let's prepare these children that they are successful. Let's avoid whatever does not make a long time success. 
Let's help them to go through genuinely the system. Let's build a better community than the community we have today. A long time success. Let them go through the system. Give them what is due to them to be better. Don't go shortcut. Go the right way. Abana batende kebwe batege kebwe baite makuba amarunji. Bagende monsiba bideku success jebako liri edi. That success they have worked for and earned is a genuine success. It feels bad working in now when our Biromana way begins. Now again, that's so many Africa Musa. Now we're now many. I ain't no cool like my Kambi. If they say I'm wrong, us, how do you feel? And then I'm telling you, wrong, us. But go on, my Sao. Let us help help the students that we do not only success of four points I don't know in eight I don't know men at senior six but let them work for these points to the candidates I am to you the days are coming when you are going to reap what you saw I believe in your heads you have what is enough for you to pass the first thing trust in your God Trust in your God. He's never deceptive. Tain za kweli imba na fokutulima. Katu onda mumwe sige. Number two. Trust your teachers. Whatever they have given you. There are some people last minutes. They begin to fumble. They look for notes. Sima batu mele ze kunotu sizawa. No, 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 no. Notu sizo mina ziku mala. So mezo obi matire. Dear candidates. Sleep enough. Mueva keku. Eh, if it's time to sleep, sleep. It's business of prolonging. Simanya, you put the legs in the basin. Ah, uh -uh. please sleep enough, so that whatever you have studied is digested in the brain and is properly stored there. Eat and eat enough. Murie, a meeting gave a way to do candidates. Yeah, you know they tell them it's time for lunch. No, 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 for us. You know we are still busy. We are can. Before you can go, no, you need an empty bag cannot stand. You need to put something in the stomach and you stand and you think. Play and pray. Muzanye, if it's time to go for sports, go sport. Sport. Zanya zanya mood, rotate around, let the body relax. You are not the first to sit P7 or senior four, senior six. The way Siva, woe, and Kakati Munefe took in Dambigis, took in Dambig. And even some teachers say, P7, you're all chas and ya, Murikas and Yemu, Banak. Listen in the body. Too much of anything. You may over pump your head and it even begins to ache and you sweat because you want success. Success is not gained by that like that. Read, eat, sleep, play, relax, wake up, pray, read. And when you are reading, please bite what you can swallow. So makoso mi ukakiri zoku yingira mbongo. And let it be stored. You know this head is a computer. It's like a computer. Whatever you study has to be stored in a particular folder on a computer. And it is kept there. Don't force it to be pulled out at that moment. Mulimu wa soma, wa soma na soma, na abika, so na gamba kanzi jukiri bimba den soma, mba den soma chum. Gato juki la yon echi. That one should not demoralize you. Te chukumala amu maanyi gamba kari mfudobe danja tikirachi. No. What you are reading stores itself. 
at the moment when you will need it in the examination chija kujacho kanga eh wa makano nakasoma this is it at the right time it will come out don't force it that time and when you are reading and you become i mean you start dozing please stop there don't be like a mr bean eh you get you get toothpicks and open your eyes eh no the body is telling you that is enough we have consumed we need to rest rest your head please because it has taken enough okay when the head begins to ache no soma no mtu ene gukuru maringo uza chepo mpe kubopana do maro kumaliza wano bie nsoma my friend that head is not a machine it is telling you e chochimala guhumuze nyo amazi guhumule nebi osomye bie teleke bulonji are we together yes yes remember to read when you are fresh fresh Whoever is a student, you have a time, the best time for you when you read and understand. When I was still a student with the Father Ben here, I used to read in the morning. So there is a time, there are some who read after sports and they are fresh evening prep please always read the hardest subject during that time when you are fresh and read until the time for being fresh is finished okay yes my dear friends candidates you are the bearer of the flag of your schools don't ashamed your schools we expect a lot from you. You are going to give us a name. You know what is surprising? When candidates perform very well, the success is not theirs only. to associate with somebody who is successful. Even the so your success is not only your success it is the success for the parents for the teachers for the school for the askari for the cook even us the fathers who are going to bless you we shall move posing so it is also our success please don't spoil our success Mutuyambe na fetu ya gari kumbi bili ya bili mwesa tu. Ngebigezo viko mieo. Mubukolo ubuntu. Uh. Mm. Avoid the cramming. If you are a good cramer. Cramming is good but very dangerous. Ukuramming ubuntu wumu sequence. One, four, five, six. One, four, five, six. Now after cramming, the moment you forget from one, the next is what? The moment you forget one step. All is gone. One, four, six, nine. I see. Uh, one, four, six, nine. That is the badness in cramming. It can help you. By the moment cramming is against you, you can even regret why you crammed. Read and understand. So, don't cram. Eh? Try past papers. Mm. Read when you are fresh. Eh. Read in a group. Make a groups and read. And read. Numbers that have to do with the calculation, please practice. With the teacher and with your friends alone. Avoid, avoid nanny trusting in God. That is witchcraft. Reading. 
Halu wabu tiwe bawa wabaizi na wabu itasimanya wa orumanyo. I don't know what is orumanyo. Orumanyo. Mm. Gulaba candidate kuingira. Mwemuli na sifuti rula. Akwata ganyakati. So what is this? Na mama uya mugamba mwana angebola webi ntubiga nyengo. Senya hako kumanyo. In the examination. Oli ya leta kasani. Dizo yune koma. E, mzade ya mga manti bibe ila mmotwe. Mwana angibola babi ganyi. Yukombu ko. Forgetting it. Nebi bade mwa abisindika wane iba bibe. And when you are doing your papers, please. Concentrate on your papers. Don't look at your neighbor. Your neighbor may be a source of frustration. Wano neighbor kumara mwa amanyi. For example, for us who are doing uh, courses that have to do with writing essays, eh? Ngo ino kuandika essay. Otu kanga gwe biku wedeko, biwe redeko, peje mbiku wedeko. Na inga gai ya kasaba peje yoku na chokomu laba tareke rao. Nga gwe biku wedeko da. Literally that person can make you fail. Nunga wate nze sivite gede. And most of the time, mainzo kubo ya wandi kenyo ali off topic. Therefore, don't mind about your neighbor. Please. This is school. The many times I've been here, I've never had any practice of copying. Let it not start after COVID. They have varieties. Atikatibali modern. Dot com. Akube sasi nganawe mwoli. Wanda wako. Hii. Mm, I have always told you when I come here, when I was an invigilator and I discovered these guys were copying. Especially numbers that have to do with objectives. Objective numbers, they set a question and the answers are given, but you choose A, B, C, D. You choose one of them. Ha. Is actually nothing to ask me that is on the way as you go. A. What they do when they are sitting, the wisest. Omugezi wabwe. Omugezi wafe. Tuwa mitanga. Solo. Solo for solo valash. He solves numbers. Kati solo mchivuza atula maso. Solo we chitu kaku numbers objectives. Yaziba kwa leda zona. He's fond of distracting the invigilators all the time. Excuse me, excuse me. Number seven is not clear. But Bwaita Ekizamina, excuse me. Just in no a number you ajimani ne answer harim kuchi wabane. You look at the fingers that's our guru ngamuita. Excuse me. Ngaba manye yo see. Excuse me, uh, number seventeen is not so clear. Baba yita ngabatu nuri do mukono guanis. Bwa kula wati abagamba it is a C. Eh, Gwemori no teacher will be busy, but you are invigilated. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Baku besa sala ivunga wool. This generation, and they have very many ways of copying. But I pray, please, don't copy. Use your head. It will help you. You will celebrate your success as your own success. It is yours. You will be happy forever because it is your success. But what I want to assure you, you will pass. Since we have put God first, fetu bita demu katonda. Ate ya tugamba wetu mwesiga. Tainza tuva mnonso. Tainza na kuhiri imba. You know I have a story about trusting in God. When I was in senior one. When you come in senior one you are angels. You are good. But the most troublesome class in every school is senior two. Senior one, I want to be a little bit of a lunge.
but you call them nicknames. I don't know Bansen Banners. Simanya Nyongo. Simanya Minyoni. Simanya whatsoever. And they are okay with it. Let them come to Form 2. You will know who they are. My school was Kisubi Seminary. I was in a seminary. This seminary is still there. This seminary is hidden in a forest. And behind the forest there, there is a beach where we go to swim. And this beach used to bring people from outside. Eh? Overnight. Overnight. Senior ones and two, every Saturday you go to bed at 10. Period. So you go to your bed at 10. Down in the beach, music is hitting. It's like telling you, why don't you come and join? But that would be escaping. In senior one, we managed to withstand, but in form two, uh, uh, you'd go to bed at 10. Sawanya. Senior six, four, fives are still studying. Then you rise up at midnight when everybody is dead asleep. And now music is coming to your ears directly. You sit on your bed and you ask yourself very many times, should I go, shouldn't I go? You look at everybody in the dormitory and everybody seemingly looks like he's asleep. And then you decide, come what may, this is my year, Form 2. I'll never be in Form 2. I am going. Now the mission you are starting is Mission Impossible. We used to have those beds. The teachers know them, the old one, metallic, used to call them Vono. Not Deckers, Vono. Such kind of beds we had. So you would majestically sit in the dark. Mm, it does squeak, you sit. Then you pretend to be yawning and stretching. Kumbe, you are checking for security. Is anybody watching? You put on your shoes. Those days, that's when these rubber shoes had started coming. You put on your rubber shoes that when you walk, nobody hears you are passing. But now it would be surprising. You started the mission alone. But after passing two beds, the third bed, somebody is already watching and asking you, are you sure it is time, Haman? Is it time, really? <laughs> and you say, it is time. It is time. What the you And by the time you are the exit, the dormitory had an entrance facing where the fathers are sleeping. That one we used to make sure at night it is locked. The exit behind, no locking it. And by the time you were the exit, you started alone. By the time you were there, you were 10. But I remember no moment did we ever cross the exit without prayer. Mission is evil, but prayer is paramount. They would even say, Anya to what? Now we have to win. We have to win. To win. And somebody would lead you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Now you pity Jesus. He has entered it. And he said whatever you do in my name. It will be successful. So in whose name were we doing it? There is no day did they ever get us. We were successful in the wrong doing. I'm saying go and be successful what I wanted to say is what once you put in you put God first in all you do, success is yours. We are here to confirm that that as we are going for our examinations, we believe success is ours. The Lord be with you. God our Father, we thank you, we bless you, we glorify you, we honor you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We bless you, Lord, for today. We thank you for creating us out of your own image. Out of your love, Lord, you created us. Be blessed and glorified your name. Lord, we want to thank you for the parents. They are the cause of our lives. They are the cause of our children here. 
they brought them onto the earth. Bless them first, the parents who are here. Lord our Father, before you kneeling down are your candidates, P7, Senior 4 and Senior 6. What they want, Lord, is a success. The journey has been long. The journey has been tedious. We ask you now, Lord, to take charge. Bless them. Grant them the wisdom they deserve. Grant them the gifts of the Holy Spirit, especially the gift of remembrance, that they remember whatever was taught of them. Lord, keep them safe. Free them from all diseases, accidents, stresses, worriedness, and anything that can stop their success. We cast away all satanic plans that seemingly look to come to them. We cast them far and wide. Throw them very far. May your presence be in their lives now. Precious blood of Jesus, cover them. Spirit of the, Spirit of the Lord, abound them in your love. Our Lord Jesus Christ, be with them. We want to ask you, Lord, that in the period before, during, and after the examinations, you never desert them. Always be with them and help them to be healthy. Lovely Lord, we are making this prayer for you have chosen us to be the medium of your power, the medium of your word, the medium of your blessing. Good our Father, we thank you for this day. Let it be a very important day in their lives. Lord, what they need we have mentioned. All you need to give to them, Lord, you know. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. I want to humbly ask any parent or teacher, I hand over the microphone. On behalf of you, the parents or teachers, you make a prayer also in your very own words. Our teacher, the rest of us, let's keep our hands on our candidates. It's not out what make it's masses that I need to ask every we want to thank you for this far. We thank you for the parents that you've made them able to be able to, be, to pay school fees further. We thank you for our candidates who have moved so far. We thank you for the teachers who have taught them as we have prayed further. We pray that you make them remember whatever they have read. We pray that you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on all the days they are going to do their exams, Father. That you will see them through. That you keep guiding them. Keep blessing them till the end. Father, we know that the journey you have started will not end in the middle. Father, we know that you will accomplish it. We want to thank you. We want to praise you. We want to glorify your name for this day. We thank you. We pray for journey mercies for all those who are traveling back. We pray for success for everyone. We pray for good health, Almighty Father, that you will be with us all in all our ways. We want to thank you again. We want to praise you. And we shall keep giving you all the glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen.
Say 